the media. Can you guys line up back there, all the way in that back neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you know? <laughs> See, I guess I know. <laughs> Who do we know? Who do we know? Hang on. Who do we know, Rita? <laughs> Because of you, there's somebody here in Rhode Island, somewhere who is going to be able to get their treatment for cancer without having to give up their house or go bankrupt. Because of you, there are young people right here in Rhode Island who are going to be able to go to college and otherwise couldn't go to college. Because of you, there are 100,000 young men and women who are returning home from Iraq because of you. Because of the things that you did in 2008, we have made huge changes. So don't let people tell you you're not making a difference. How do we make sure that the economy is growing and that the middle class is growing? Because that's the beating heart of this economy. Uh, what you do here is a great example of what we've got to be able to do all across this country. We're proud of you. Uh, and I thank you so much for uh, letting us join you here today and, and seeing the wonderful success uh, that you've been able to accomplish. Thank you very much, everybody. Yes, it's hard, but it's always been hard. The history of America has been hard, starting with a revolution to found this country. The idea of America is hard, based on a document and, and ideas that had never been tried before. We hold these truths to be self-evident, yes. that all men are created equal, yeah. endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's a hard idea. But each successive generation hasn't shied away just because it's hard. We kept on going. Yeah. We kept moving forward. And that's why we're here today. And we want 20 years from now, 30 years from now, a, a, a hundred years from now, we, we want people to be able to look back and say, you know what, this generation did the same thing. That same spirit that got us through war and depression, that helped to perfect this union, that same spirit is alive and well in 2010. That's what I need all of you to show me. And if you do, I promise you, David is going to Congress. And we will continue to help rebuild the American dream for all people. Thank you very much, Rhode Island. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.